Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing? I just stopped by. Just sitting out here in my yard and just doing some reflections and just stop by just to encourage a few people to uh, continue to walk in your God-given purpose and know uh, that when God has a purpose for your life, it comes. Good morning, family. Good morning. It comes with challenges. It comes with um, so many things. And uh, I just wanted to stop by and know I haven't hardly been able to get on because um, I'm preparing. Uh, good morning. Hey, big brother Patrick, Alexis, Freddie, Tony, blessings, Pastor Tony. Uh, preparing this week for my defense uh, to graduate with uh, my PhD in um, Christian education. And so it has had uh, some, some for real challenges, uh, but I thank God that uh, through it all, he keeps, uh, you know, um, allowing me to keep pressing. This may not be for everybody this morning, but to those who is for that uh, me may be facing some challenges in walking in your God-given purpose, um, trying to pursue the things that uh, God has placed on your life to do. Um, it can be challenging. I'm not going to tell you that uh, things that are worth having, you have to work for. Things that um, are worth uh, what it is that God wants you to do. You're going to have to uh, keep pressing your way through. Uh, I'm getting a clear understanding on a lot of things that are really, really uh, helping me to endure uh, this journey. Uh, it has not been an easy journey. Uh, this last over a year and almost a year and a half trying to complete this uh you know, the last of this doctoral degree, um, my, 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 um, but I wanted to come on to be an encouragement to somebody, good morning family, who may be at the crossroads in their God-given purpose and on the brinks of, you know, because we don't want to be real, we don't want to say that, uh, purpose comes with challenges, you know, we just, uh, we just think that we just arrived there without going through a process, but it is a process that we must go through to accomplish it. So I put up this morning um, my favorite scripture that I live by, um, and I have to tell myself that 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 all things are going um, to work together for the good of them who love the Lord and uh, who are called according. Um, to his purpose and know that when God has called you, uh, you have purpose. I'm not walking today. I'm actually sitting um, outside, uh, sitting in the back of my truck with the with the with the hood up or the back of the truck sitting just, you know, reflecting over, over life and reflecting over uh, my God given purpose. And I say, why not uh, come out here and talk to a few people. Yes, I will get back to walking uh, live. I, I I am walking. I'm just not walking live. Um, reflecting, talking to God, and um, asking God some things and giving me some direction on some things. And we all have to um, get to a place that we spend time with the Lord and ask Him, you know, which direction uh, that He wants us to go in. Make sure that we're f fulfilling His purpose, even though it's our God given purpose. And we say, walking in my purpose or fit for our kingdom assignment. We also want to make sure that the purpose that we're walking in, uh, the kingdom assignment that we're walking in, is truly called from God. How do you know that your kingdom assignment? Um, is truly uh, from the Lord. It comes with challenges. Okay, let me help you today. How do you know uh, that it is truly your kingdom assignment? Because it comes with challenges. You will be challenged on every side. And one of the challenges can cause you to go into a place that you may get frustrated, that you may say, you know what? 
it is it's truly not worth it. But then you have to think back and you have to say, God, if this is what you have called me to do, surely, surely, if this is the call that you have on my life, that you are going to walk me through every process, every step of the way. And you got to know that God has your back. Can I tell you something? You got to know that when your back is up against the wall, you have to know without a shadow of a doubt that God has your back. If God is for you, he is for you. He is with you. He will guide you every step of the way. And so I just wanted to stop by this morning um, just to encourage a few people on this morning uh, to, you know, continue to trust God. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care, you know, what the opposition is. I mean, if you don't have opposition, you know, then I don't know what to tell you. But anything that, that God has called for you to do, even, you know, when you look at David, you look at the life of David, even though he was a king, he won many battles. You understand what I'm saying? You look at Deborah, you know, she she was a judge, but she had to do some things because there was another battle had to be won. If you look at Gideon, the life of Gideon, uh, if you look at his story, it's so amazing to me with Gideon because Gideon started out with a whole bunch of people and then at the end, uh, he ended up with about 300. Uh, we can even take it a little bit farther. If you uh, look at the life, I like the Hebrew boys, you know, because their story is so amazing and so significant because they wouldn't bow down uh, to, to, to another God. So that uh, reason that they didn't bow down to another God caused them to be in the, in, you know, in, in the, in the fire. You understand what I'm saying? And then the blaze went up high and at the end of the day, because they wouldn't bow, good morning family, uh, they wouldn't bow, uh, they wouldn't compromise. Uh, then God uh, showed himself and at the end King Nebuchadnezzar told him, say, well, you know what? Who uh, We basically, we, we, we got to follow your God. Then if you look at the life of Esther, I'm just giving you uh, some stories that are in the Bible that each one of these individuals had challenges uh, that they had to face in their God-given purpose. Look at uh, uh, Esther. I love Esther because Esther went through a process and, you know, how she she was picked out, you know, in her process. She had to go for purification and, you know, she had to follow the instructions uh, of her uncle Mordecai. Uh, Mordecai. Excuse me if my uh, grammar don't uh, meet up to the expectations of so many, uh, but Moses stuttered. So can I be like Moses today? You know, uh, I may have a little stutter on me, and that's okay. You understand what I'm saying? Good morning, family. Good morning, family. But I, I just wanted to encourage a few people uh, on this day. I see my big brother Terrence. I guess he stopped by uh, to say hello this morning. Uh, I'm walking in my God-given purpose. Matter of fact, I got on my T-shirt. I'm walking in my God-given. I'm walking in purpose. Uh, we have to walk in uh, the purpose that, that, that God has uh, before us. I've been watching so many things that has been happening uh, that have people in an uproar. But sometimes we need to get in an uproar about our God-given purpose. We have to be faithful uh, you know, to what God has called us to do. Uh, you may not do it like everybody else, but surely you're one of a kind in your kingdom assignment. And the reason why I use uh, those those examples, because those are examples uh, in the Bible. If you look at David, I mean, the one he loved, Saul tried to kill him, but it didn't stop the assignment. Uh, you know, of his life, of him becoming king. Yes, he made mistakes and he did some things. We all do that. We all make mistakes and we do some things and, uh, you know, it don't please the Father. And we got it, you know, we get that thing back right with the Lord. And, you know, a matter of fact, uh, we get that thing right with each other and we keep moving on forth. But I'm just trying to encourage uh, people this morning. I don't have no script going on. So if I don't uh, exegete the, 
you know, the, the, the what I'm talking about this morning, you know, biblical hermeneutics and all that, uh, please forgive me. I'm just a real person uh, just talking this morning, just trying to encourage a few people, you know, without all the titles and all of that. I'm, I'm just trying to encourage uh, uh, a few people because when you encourage people, don't you know that the Lord is pleased with that? Uh, no matter what you may be facing in your life, if you just to uh, keep encouraging and be a uplifting to somebody else, uh, don't you know that God will uh, move in your life? Uh, the one thing that I know that the challenge is, uh, when we face with challenge, the enemy wants us to muzzle uh, our mouth uh, from encouraging others and, you know, uh, keep us in a low state, uh, low labai, low labor, you know, on a low state, but that's not our portion. Good morning. Blessings. How are you? Oh, I'm blessed. God bless you this morning. Uh, yeah, so I'm saying that was my neighbor, beautiful neighbor. You know, sometimes you have to sit outside and enjoy the breeze and, you know, be real with yourself. Be, you know, be real. You know, sometimes, you know, we try to be too deep and all of that. Sometimes it just don't take all of that. Sometimes just be a real person to people. Let them know, encourage them that, you know, to keep their faith. I mean, you ain't, you ain't got to be no apostle or prophet uh, to encourage people to keep their faith in God and keep their faith in, in their, you know, in the purpose of what uh, God could call, call them to do. You know, God can use a jackass in the Bible. Uh, surely he can use you and I. You know, I'm not walking this morning, but I'm still hyped. I'm just kind of chilling out here. Um, it's a beautiful day. I'm off today. Uh, just, in, you know, enjoyed 29 years of uh, my husband and I, our 29th year anniversary. Uh, can I tell you, I thank God for it. And can I be real, child? Uh, it ain't been easy. Uh, we have challenges. We have struggles like everybody else. Come on. Hello, somebody. I'm, it's just a real talk with Dr. Yo. It may be therapeutic uh, for somebody on today. Um, I am a counselor. Yes, I am. So maybe, you know, you can get some therapeutic stuff on today. Uh, it it. It hasn't been an easy journey, but I thank God that uh, uh, we we survived the journey. We we a real couple. Uh, we have real issues. We have our little uh, uh, powwows too. You know, our secret uh, love affair. Uh, 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 I call them uh, what I call them. Uh, our uh, secret uh, powwows. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, we all go through that. If you're a married couple, you're going to go through some things. You're going to go through challenges. Even if you're single and dating, come on, hello, somebody. You're going to go through challenges uh, because you're trying to get to the, to the point that the two become one. You know, one, 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 one. And that's what happens. I mean, I'm just talking about relationships. I'm just talking. And it may seem like today, oh, she all over the place. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking about reality and real life issues. Uh, and they, they happen in the Bible. Uh, a lot of things have happened in the Bible, but how do we bring them uh, to application to our everyday life? See, we get stuck with them being in the Bible. But we don't bring them to application, which is our everyday life. So I'm just talking to y'all from an everyday uh, life, Every, everyday life, everyday life. We all go through something. All right. But we even in you going through something, you got to remember that you still have purpose. Uh, you can't stop your purpose. You can't quit on your purpose. You can't run from your purpose. You can't hide from your purpose. You can't do any of that. You understand what I'm saying? You may have to step back and re-examine some things in your life. You understand what I'm saying with God's help? We all have to do that. I don't care how deep you are. I don't care how many titles you carry. In reality, I'm talking about reality, you still have to step back and analyze things in your life. God has given you a purpose. You understand what I'm saying? And you have to walk in that purpose. But even in walking in that purpose, situations come which are natural, human, 
Come on here. I mean, we take the Bible, but we need to apply it with these human, natural situations that go on in life. And anybody that has a purpose, a true call, a true mandate from the Lord, there are challenges that you're going to face. Don't let anybody paint this pie in the sky that every day in ministry is hunky-dory. That is a lie. That is a lie that is not the truth. How do you get through those things? You get through those things with God's help. You get through those things with support of others that are in ministry. You know, the ones that are doing true kingdom ministry, they, they build each other up. You understand? They lift you up. You understand what I'm saying? As they lift themselves up in the Lord. Blessings. God bless you. I love you guys. <laughs> you know, you, you lift one another up. So this just real talk today. This ain't nothing deep. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't, you know, I ain't got the hermeneutics today and exegesis text and, you know, three points and, you know, all of that. No, it's probably all over the place. All right. So to those who is for, good morning. God bless you. To those who is for, that's who is for. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to encourage a few people this morning to continue on your journey to walking into your purpose. The purpose that God has ordained for your life. I, You know, I, that's my favorite scripture. I live by it. No, that's not the only scripture that I know. And I'm sure that's not the only scripture that you know. But that scripture... It means so much to me because it continues to encourage you and I that God has given us a purpose that we have to continue to walk in. Will every day be hunky-dory? No. No, it won't. So if somebody lie to you, you know, I have my days. Some days I laugh. Some days I cry. Some days I'm angry. No, I'm not bipolar. Those are human side. See, people don't want to talk about the human side. They want to get all deep, all right? I understand it. I'm a preacher too, all right? But I'm a preacher and I have a human side with emotions. Jesus, well, is that not an emotion? You understand what I'm saying? So when we have, you know, I try to tell people, take the mask off, you know? Take your mask off. What are you hiding? What are you masking? You understand what I'm saying? Too many people are hiding and masking so many things. And they're masking situations that are in their everyday life. You understand what I'm saying? I remember a point in my life, that's why I ended up writing the book, uh, Behind the Mask, because of the fact that I was masking so many things and I tried to be this certain persona. You know, because when you're a preacher, you got to look a certain way. You got to act a certain way. You got to be strong 24-7. It that, that's, that's what they want. You have to be strong 24-7. You can't have no breakdown. You can't have no uh, emotional side. You got to be so deep every day. I beg the difference. We are humans. If Jesus, if the Father did not want us to have emotions, why would he give them to us? You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm not telling you to, to stay there and mope every day. That's not what I'm saying. But I tell anybody, if you need to have a moment, get your moment out. And then continue with your purpose. Because what the problem is, we got these masks on. You understand what I'm saying? And we covering up all this stuff, trying to be something of who we not. And I remember that. Let me tell you, so I spent years of that. That's fake. That's not the real you. The real you is tell the truth. I'm going through something. I've overcome. Right now, I'm not going through nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Did I go through some stuff? Yes. Do I have things going on and have or had? Yes. That's a reality of life. But what gets me is that people want you to put on this fake mask every day and act like everything is a cooker. Yes, I believe in God. And yes, you believe in God. I, I believe. You understand what I'm saying? But the truth of the matter, why are we masking stuff? If it hurt, it hurt. You understand what I'm saying? If you went through it, it's a part of the process. So why are you masking? Why are you faking? You understand what I'm saying? And I had to tell myself that, well, who are you, who you trying to impress? 
People ain't got a heaven and hell to put you in. So why are you faking it to make it? And so that's what made me write about behind the mask. Because I didn't want to fake it. Yes, I got two ex-gang member sons. Yes, one time a point in my life, my marriage was a struggle. Yes, the preacher. Hello, somebody. Y'all don't want to be real. Hello. Children all out there crazy, and I thought for a minute I thought I was crazy. You understand what I'm saying? So when you tell these things, good morning, God bless you. Come on, stop there. All right. When you tell these things, people want to look down and pass judgment and all that stuff. Who are you? You can't be real about you, so don't get mad because somebody's being real to help somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? It's time out for faking it to make it. You understand what I'm saying? How are we going to win other people and build other people if we behind, we hiding behind a mask? We got a superficial thing going on. Hello? Hello? I, I mean, for real, I, this is real talk. This ain't nothing deep this morning, all of that. I told you what my scripture was because it applies in your everyday life. He, call, he called us for a purpose, but we're going to go through some stuff to get to purpose. That's the part that people don't want to tell you. They want to tell you the pretty side. But they don't want to tell you the real side. You're going to struggle with some things. You're going to go through some things. You may even revert back to some things. Hello, somebody. Until your totally deliverance happens. You understand what I'm saying? And, and that means that we have to surrender unto the Father. You understand what I'm saying? People don't want to do real talk. I'm real talk. This may not be for everybody. Because everybody don't want to talk about real stuff. They won't talk about what's done in the dark, stay in the dark. Well, if you the light, it shouldn't be in no dark place no more. You understand what I'm saying? We all are ex something. Hello, somebody. You think the Lord anointed me to preach the way I preach now in my life because my life was so perfect and I did everything right? No, the devil is a liar. Don't don't let nobody put you in no that that's called putting people in boxes. You know, we put you in the box there figurative imagination uh those things that you know we put it on in the box and make it look like this cookie cut out. No, it's time out for that. It's time out to fake it to make it because here here's the deal. When we be fake about us, then what we endure, to what we talking about, we important, then we important that fakeness into other people's life. Be real about it. Let me tell you, some ex person on the street can relate to you when you tell them that you are ex somebody. Hello, somebody. And guess what? I know I'm going to take uh, 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 probably a backlash from this, and I'm okay with it because I done went from 4,900 and some odd, uh, 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 whatever on Facebook. Now I'm down to about 1,200. You understand what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to you gotta clean up some things in order for God to do something new. You understand what I'm saying? Because here's the deal. You don't need stalkers. You need people who are praying in your life and lifting and building up the kingdom of God because they know that your assignment is not about you. Hello. Your your my assignment is not about me. Uh-huh. Our assignment is to build one another up and be of support and be a blessing to one another. I, I don't know about y'all, but this is not the season uh that I'm gonna do all the fake religious stuff. I'm not gonna be able to do it. You understand what I'm saying? Not when you know God in a true, real, authentic way. Ain't no way you can encounter God to that magnitude and still run around here masking things. And not even being true to you or true to the call that God has on your life. There are people out here who are really broken, who are really going through stuff. But you know what? We mask so much, they don't even want to come to us. They don't even want to come to us. Why? Because what we do is we're going to take their situation and we're going to make a mockery out of it. But God cannot be mocked and God cannot be stopped. You understand what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I'm just going to keep it 100. That just means you can love it or you can leave it because I'm not trying to impress nobody. I'm trying to please the Father because there's too many lost people out there. Too many. So I was at the store. 
just the other day. And I ain't even go on Facebook with. I ain't go on Facebook. It was it was like five young men. And I was standing in there and they was just cussing. They, I know they was between the ages of 15 and 17. And they had this red on and, you know, they red and they black and all this stuff here. And I'm standing in the line. I said, Lord, you know, to myself. So when they walked outside, these young men, I stopped them. I said, hey, young man, do you, can I talk to y'all? This happened about two weeks ago. I didn't post it on Facebook, but I'm talking about it now because I'm using it as an example. You understand what I'm saying? And I started telling them young men that there's greatness in them. And one young man, he kept looking at me. I said, you look, I, he said, ma'am, he said, why you keep looking at me? I said, because you remind me of my son. And he just shook his head. I said, let me tell you something. I have one son right now. I say, matter of fact, I'm waiting on him to come home from prison. And I say, he was an ex-gang member. I said, let me tell you something. Them people don't care nothing about you. They ain't your true family. I said, at the end of the day. I say, the one who going to stand with you, if you have good parents, I say, what kind of heartache are, are, we, are you causing them? I say, what are you exemplifying to them? You know, and the young men, they were very receptive. And I asked them, I said, can I pray for y'all? And these young men, I, let me tell you something. They let me pray for them, y'all. When I got home and I pulled up in my, in my driveway, I began to weep before the Lord. You know, that wasn't a Facebook post. See, everybody that's doing something, everybody may not put it as a Facebook live, but that don't mean that they're not touching lives all over the place. That's why I say do your kingdom assign. Yeah, there are some things I do put on Facebook, but there are some things that I don't. But the reason why I'm sharing this, when you put yourself in a position to allow God to use you the way he see fit, you can be used at the grocery store, you can be used on the street corner, you can be used down the street. You may not have a platform in the church to get up on the poor pit and preach, but God will create a platform from you. And I cried and I weep from those young men because the reason why, because I'm a mother and I have two sons. You understand what I'm saying? And I know what it is. And I start telling them young men, I said, don't get caught up in a system. You better than that. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't beat them young men down the, down the head with a Bible and tell them they wasn't going to be nothing. And, you know, start looking at them like they beneath. No, I start calling forth greatness in them. And what am I saying? When we do something, call forth greatness in people. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they may look like some little gangsters. Hello, somebody. They, yeah, they did. They look like some little gangsters, but I didn't see them as little gangsters. I seen them as young men of greatness. And the, one of the young men, his eyes started watering. He said, ma'am, can I just give you a hug? I say, yes. Now, that may be some, I may be on the street somewhere. Somebody may give me a hard time and them young men see me and come over there and, and, and be there for me. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't know whose life you're going to touch. That's why I tell people, be real, be true, be true. Get your nose from up in the air looking down on people because they don't look like you. They don't smell like you. They may not have no, let me tell you something. All kids that get out there and get in some trouble don't mean that they parents treating them any old kind of way. So I want to encourage, I'm going there, I'm encouraging some parents today. Don't give up on your children. Don't let nobody look down on you. Matter of fact, don't give up on yourself. Because I'm going to ask something. Hello, somebody. I've been there, done that. You understand what I'm saying? I done dated my sugar daddies. It, it wasn't nothing. I was high class, high price. Hello? Come on here. You understand what I'm saying? But I thank God for the change in my life because that's not who I am. Now, who am I talking to? It may be some other woman out there that's out there doing her thing. And don't think because she was out there doing her thing that God can use her. Well, I'm going to testify. Yes, he can. He using me. I'm not bragging on me. Because I'm nobody. I'm bragging on God. Bless you today. Bless you. God bless you. I'm bragging on God. So if he can change me, he can change anybody. So who are we to look down and, and then we got certain people we going to minister to? For real? Come on now. 
Jesus came to those who were lost. He was the king of kings and the Lord of lords. If you want to go biblical, he was all of that. But he came down in the street. I'm going to call it the street with the poor and the broken hearted. And we got a problem with, oh, no, we don't. Oh, no. You want to minister to the Ivory League people. You understand what I'm saying? Minister to the ones you can't get nothing from that you're giving something to. You understand what I'm saying? What about that? Don't you know if you do that, what God will do for you? You understand what I'm saying? People don't get it. We don't want to keep it 100. We don't want to keep it real. We just want to fake it to make it. I ain't that girl. You understand what I'm saying? Jesus, he had a multitude falling, but at the end of the day, hello, somebody. He was one man doing something great and being about his father's business. You understand what I'm saying? Come on here. We don't want to tell no real story. We don't want to tell we know XX. Oh, no. We ain't going to tell that because that's going to mess up how we look. You know, I, how we, you know, how we, you know, we flow. That, that, let me tell you, all my X mess is the reason why God anointed me, why he could trust me if he, it, hey, I was a mess. But now that I'm on this side, you don't think he can trust. Because I'm going to tell people my real story. I don't care. It may not be for you with your cute self. That may not be. Your stuff may be pretty, but mine ain't. Hello. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to help the folks who ain't trying to be cute with this thing. They trying to be real about it. Because somebody need to know something that's real. Real, recognize, real. Baby, when I was in the street, I knew who was in the game with me and who wasn't. Hello. It is what it is. So now that I'm on this side, let me tell you something. You get some people in your life, and you start importing them at their lowest. They're going to have your back for a lifetime. They're going to have your back for, the li for a lifetime. Come on. We too cute, and I know I'm going to take back last for this and they gonna make, you know, they, you know, somebody will get they, they Facebook topic for the day. Go on and get it. Let me give you a topic that you can put out there. How I can quit being fake and be real about my life that it may bless another. How about that? Can you use that for a topic for me? If you're going to put it out, and then put the scripture up there. Romans 8 and 28. Go on, put it up there. I'm going to help you out today. It's going to work out for the good. Because you got to understand it ain't about you and I. It's about what God has called us to. And we got to be true to it. We got to be real about this here. Because somebody's life is depending on us to be real about our realness. It's too much fakeness. It's, it's too much of that. I don't know about you, but I can't stomach all that. Not when you know God for real. You understand what I'm saying? So I admonish the people who going out there, going where the real work is. I admonish them. I admonish them. Yeah, my hat goes out because they going out there where the real work is. You understand what I'm saying? And the real work ain't cute. I spent many years jumping, shouting, dancing. I got that too. Lord have mercy. And it's real. But let me tell you where the realness come in. When you can take all of that and really go out there and get somebody that their life is in a total mess. And bring them to God by not looking down on them or judging them for who, who they was or where you see them in their present state. What you trying to do? Get a trophy? Trophy for what? You ought to thank God that he even using you. I must thank God that he's even using me. I'm not going to be a copycat to nobody. No. Not when God makes you an original. I'm not going to be a copycat to nobody. And I'm not going to fake it to make it. Hello, somebody. You understand what I'm saying? 
It's a real world out there. People going through some real stuff. That's why I use the examples of them babies. That happened a couple of weeks ago. I didn't put that on Facebook, but I'm telling you now. Had I approached them young men without telling them there was greatness in them, they would have been turned off. Y'all need to get it right with the Lord. Oh, my God, who your parents is and all that kind of stuff. Let God put you in a position to be what it is that they may need at that moment. When you see young men and they out there are young women, it ain't just young men, young women. It's time to embrace them. They have a future. Hello, somebody. They not running in the Ephesus, in the building. They not running in there. Because they looking at how we treat them when we see them. How, how we going to get it up on Sunday? And if they see us in Walmart, we don't even speak to them. And they be like, ma'am, you remember I came to your church, sir. You remember I came to your church. And you looking at them like, for real? That's what I mean. But we done got all cleaned up. All cleaned up. Got on our good suits and ties and our church dresses and hats and, you know, all our good kingdom uh, gear. That's what I call it, kingdom gear. And we do all that. And we won't even really speak to the lost. Oh, yeah, we'll speak to them if they come inside the church in the building because that's a comfort zone. But will you speak to them? If they are out of the building. <laughs> For real. I mean, this may not be popular, but it's just real talk, you know. Yeah, with love and kindness, I get it. How will we? you right, sis. But here's the deal. We can't love them on Sunday if we see them in the street on Monday. That same love don't apply. It only apply on Sunday morning in the building. But what about outside of the building? Do they feel that kind of love outside of the building? You understand what I'm saying? I don't know about you, but I can't be fake. That that's just that that ain't it ain't even my DNA. I can't fake it to make it. You understand what I'm saying? I can't do it. I, I ain't that girl. So, you know, when you don't fake it to make it, uh, that may not be the popular thing. You, you say you talking well, Denica. Good morning. I just want to say good morning, family. How y'all doing? Blessings from on high to the most high. He is king of kings and lord of lords. But I'm just sitting outside and it's a beautiful day. And I say, well, why not, you know, why not encourage the people on some truth today? You know. God bless you. Come on, style stand. Yay! Yeah, I know I know a little Espanol. <laughs> you know, those my neighbors. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm just telling y'all, be true to the call that's on your life. When I put up them posts about don't be a counterfeit to your kingdom assignment, I mean that. Don't be a counterfeit to your kingdom assignment. Can't nobody do what you do because God called you to do it. It's when we come together collectively, we come in oneness of the spirit of God. And that's where all the gifts come together. You understand what I'm saying? But we all still have to play our part and do our kingdom assignment. And at the end of the day, God gets all the glory at the end of the day. That's my time. I just, you know, I didn't walk this morning. I did uh, out in the breeze. It's a beautiful day <laughs> in the neighborhood. Sometimes you have to get outside in your neighborhood. Amen. All right. Love y'all. Blessings. You trying to speak? Yeah, I speak. I speak. I speak. Poquito Espanol. Yes, I do. I'm, I'm going to get grande after a while. That means, you know, big. All right. Blessings. Let me say my hello. <laughs> Thank you, sis. 
Uh, let me say my hellos because I'm closing out. This was my fit for the kingdom outside in this beautiful uh, breeze. I pray that it was an inspiration to your life. And uh, today was just truth, truth, truth talk. You know, just truth. You know, may not be your truth, but I just believe some truth was to it. <laughs> amen. Amen. You know, you have to put your church amen in there so they'll know you still love Jesus. I, I, I love Jesus with everything in me. Amen. Blessings to you all. Love you, family. Blessings, 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 blessings. Yeah, Kim, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do... Do 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 the new thing. Genetic Zion and Klein and Lee. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Hey Denica, hey Anna Marie. Hey Tom, uh Pastor Tony. Hey my sis, my little sis Kimberly Small. Hey Chantrell. Nicole Harrell, blessings to you, Denica, blessings. I'm just speaking, Pastor uh Cynthia Flukes, good morning to you on this good great morning. Blessings to you, my sis Denise. How are you? Yolanda Guerrero, blessings. That's one of my ex-students. Well, she's still my student. I'm, I just don't teach there no more, and she's no longer a student. But we thank God for her life. Uh, you using the ex-drug. That's what I'm telling you. We all are ex-something. It's time. Hey, Destiny, blessings to you, honey. Uh, uh, Prophetess Mercedes Demps, a pastor. Uh, I hope I didn't get the... Uh, the title wrong. If I did, I apologize. But blessings to you, woman of God, on this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, Prophet Eric Vaughn Washington, good morning. Blessings to you, sir, on this morning. Pastor Pasca Mandula, blessings. Martis uh, uh, Murdis Bartlett. Hey, Prophet. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just, I'm just, you know, the day was real tough. Hey, Arthur, how you doing? Hey, uh, uh, Pro Minister Yolanda uh, Kraft, I'm just trying to pa pass to uh, Lady Simmons. How are you this morning? Blessings to you, Tanya Sherman. Blessings, my sis Kim. How are you, Carmen? Blessings to you on this morning. Apostle Chimes, uh, Arizona, blessings to you this morning. This was just real talk. Hey, my sis Antoinette. <coughs> Good morning. Hello, Prophet Lawrence. Scott, how are you? Al Massey. If I didn't get your title right, please forgive me if it's not up there. I don't remember everybody's title, but I know that we sons of God. Can I put it like that? We're servants of the Most High. We have the same daddy. Let me put it like that. My brothers and my sisters. Hi, Tori James. Blessings to you. Hi, daughter Shantae. How are you this morning? James Sherman. Good morning. Good morning. How are thou? Alexis, my brother Patrick Hines, blessings to you. Listen, I'm getting ready to sign off. Blessings to you. Blessings to you on this morning. Hey, Adelia. Hey, Patricia. Uh, blessings to you. I'm getting ready to sign off. Today was just real talk. Uh, that's, that's all I did today was just do some real talk. Nothing deep, you know. I studied a little bit like Moses. Y'all excuse me if I studied, but God still used Moses. You understand what I'm saying? So I'll take my stutter and I'll keep on going. I may not can articulate it, you know, but I can articulate it the way God has anointed me to do it. So that to those uh, who God has called us to reach, just reach them. You know, you may not reach everybody, but to those God has assigned for you to reach, you know, because they God's people. He just, we just instruments that he's using. That's it. And we just, I got to avail ourselves. Make ourselves available to the Father. That's it. So that's my time. So blessings, blessings, blessings. Um, I don't, I'm trying to get back to walking with y'all. You know, it's kind of hard. I'm trying to get, y'all pray for me. I do my defense this Thursday. Just pray for me while I get in front of the big wigs to defend my research. So that's kind of been wearing me out. That's, you know, that's real talk, my real life. You know, so uh, just just pray for you, girl. And if it's God's will, November the 16th, I'll be uh, walking across the stage if that's the Father's will. Whatever his will is for my life, that's what it is. All right? So you got to know what the Father's will is for your life. All right? Blessings, blessings, blessings. But I'm in, I'm determined to be encouragement to somebody else. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Thank you, Patricia, Pastor, 
blessings this morning. All right, God bless you. I'm going to succeed. Thank you, Chantrell. I received that. It's a journey to get there. It is a journey to get there. But with God's help, I'm going to keep trusting him. I will walk. Amen. All right. Love you guys to life. Y'all have a blessed day until next time. I don't know when I come out whether I be walking or whether I just get out here. Because I'm feeling this breeze right here. Maybe I'll do breeze kingdom inspiration. I don't know. But I'm just trying to encourage. All right. Love you guys to life. Bye-bye.